Mr. Hevel, teach us how to find an equilibrium constant today. Yeah, yeah, one more equilibrium coming your way. So this, again, normally is a lab that you would have done if you were here. Um, using spectrophotometry, remember that absorbance of light of a colored solution is directly proportional to its concentration. Mm -hmm. And so that's what this is built around. And here's the equilibrium that we're studying. Uh, it's an equilibrium that involves iron plus three ions, thiocyanate ion, and they produce a complex ion, FeSCN plus two, that has a reddish brown tinge to it. And so we're gonna use the color of that complex ion then, along with the spectrophotometer to help, help us measure the absorbance and then the concentration, to try to figure out the equilibrium constant for this, for this reaction. So we'll, we'll have something posted there for you. There's a data table that we base this on. Um, but for now, you just need to know, here's the, here's the uh, equilibrium setup. Both of our reactants have initial concentrations of 0 0.002. Okay. And we're gonna be combining solutions in this we're, one, right? We're combining solutions, so you'll actually have to recalculate their initial concentrations in the ice table. Oh yeah, the students know how to do that. They're pretty good oh, at yeah. that. Yeah, they can do that. So this is what they're starting with. When we combine, you'll have to recalculate the initial concentration, and that's what'll kick off the ice table that'll let you eventually get the equilibrium constant. Okay. Okay? So we've already mixed uh, the solutions together. And so we're going to run four trials here. And the goal is to, again, use our little spectrophotometer to measure the absorbance of these so we can get the concentration of the FESCN plus 2 that's in here. That's what's given it that brownish red tinge. Mm -hmm. The spectral photometer is this little thing. Uh, it's it's a new toy mm -hmm. for us here in the yeah. department. Yeah. Usually we have our spectral photometers are much bigger instruments, but we're trying this thing out. Yeah. See, this doesn't even have a readout on it. We have to pair our phone up with it and have it tell us. I have a cuvette with some hot water in there. That's our blank. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've at least gotten the uh, the blank set that's calibrated. Um, if I'm collecting the data here, you can't see anything right now because, well, first of all, because it's not focused. <laughs> um, but, oh, looks like maybe we have to tell it to, uh, to set a blank again because, again. Um, yeah, it's just above. You can see it graphing. Oh, Mr. Okay, Hubble just I... pulled it out of the... Uh, all right, so you mean you're going to start over. So here's the blank. It's... Just the DI water in the cuvette. So we'll drop it in and we'll close the door. Yeah, and press the cal there Oops. in the middle. Okay, and that should send. Oh, see the uh, <laughs> something happened there. Um, it made a spike, but now it, it's running along the bottom there at zero. Right. So we're setting it so it's reading zero absorbance for the cuvette and for the DI water. So any light that's absorbed should be just due to our solutions, which is not in that case. Ah, there it goes. Yep. Okay, so you want to do trial one? Okay. Okay, so here comes trial one. Um, I will put some of the solution into the cuvette. Nope. And we should read what the absorbance of light is. Let's let it. Figure out what it's going to be. And let's see if I can figure out how to get this to focus. Ah, there we go. Okay, so uh, this tells us the absorbance is 0.18. 
and it shouldn't change over time. That, right. that won't make it the, the, the reaction's already at equilibrium. Yes. So we're good. Yep. Let me take point one eight for trial one. Yeah, over, um, there are lots, too. Oh, Should have okay. gotten all four. Yeah, cameraman is going to get fired. I can't get anything to focus. Hmm. That's right. I look better out of focus. So. <laughs> okay, here comes trial two. You can tell from looking at it, the, the solutions get progressively darker. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because the solution reactant solutions are more concentrated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we've uh, seen trial two go into here, and we can see that the absorbance is higher. And it looks like it's 0.25. Right. So what we've done, and you'll see this when you look at the write-up, the iron concentration is not changing. The Fe, Fe plus 3 is the same. But the thiocyanate is getting progressively more concentrated initially. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good? Good. Okay, here comes number 3. Cuvette's going in and out of the uh, spectrometer will cause that mm. jump there, but then yeah. we just wait for it to go stable and oh, our new absorbance there for trial three point three five. Okay. All right. One more. Yeah. Our trial is 0.39 absorbance. Okay. Got any more trials, Mr. Hubble? No, nope, that, that does it. We okay. got four data points here. So we use these four trials to find the equilibrium constant for each trial. Temperature has been the same. Okay, we just have a different starting concentration for the, for the uh, SCM mm -hmm. minus one. So yeah, it got darker every time. That means the equilibrium constant should be changing, right, Mr. Hevel? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what let's do these the calculations. Not oh, that's true. Yeah.